there are four types of yoga, in fact. Um, and here in the West, what we know mostly is Hatha yoga, right? The, so we, we do all those postures and exercises, which are very helpful. But uh, <clears throat> in India, uh, once you, you begin to uh, move forward in the path of yoga, then uh, at some point you are, will be invited you know, through teacher or circumstances into what is called jnana yoga. Jnana means uh, wisdom. So it's, the, it's called the yoga of wisdom. And it's also called Advaita in uh, India. And uh, here in the West, Advaita, when you translate it into English, means non-duality. So it is a form of yoga, but it's uh, a form of yoga that is uh, very introspective. Uh, instead of uh, focusing in the body and focusing on working with the body, uh, you work with uh, introspection. You begin to look within and into your thoughts and feelings initially, and then you hopefully will become curious about who is observing, who is watching the thoughts and feelings. Because that which is watching the thoughts and feelings, that is the divine in you. So we have the idea, you know, that I am watching, but it's not so. That is a story of the mind. Okay. So when you begin to, to look into this fundamental, fundamental issue that throughout your life, from the first breath all the way to this moment, there has been observation or a perceiving or awareness that has happened uninterruptedly throughout your whole life and you become curious about what is this? What is this that is so constant? Then you begin to uh, understand that it is you, but uh, it's not a you that has to do with the persona. It's not defined by thoughts or ideas or a name. It's simply awareness. And it's undifferentiated. It doesn't have anything to do with your story. The story is the story of the character called uh, Zingrid, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, you, your real nature is formless awareness. So at this moment, for example, you are, there is something in you that is hearing these words. There is something in you that is watching this room. The visual inputs that are coming and the auditory inputs are being registered by something. That something which is formless and is constant, that is your true nature. So when you begin to, to look into the nature of consciousness, which is another word for observation, right? You are very close to the end of the yoga path because the yoga path is about, uh, they say, becoming one with the divine. Well. It's a, a way to put it. In reality, you are already the divine. You have always been the divine. The, the divine consciousness that is looking through you right now, through the, through the body, yeah? through the mind-body organism is looking. So you have always been that. It's not that you will become one with the divine or God. No, you are the divine or God. You are God. You have always been that. The only thing that needs to happen is to realize it, is to, to, to have the insight. Uh, so people think that this is a spiritual experience that needs to happen, you know, that is a human with a spiritual experience into cosmic consciousness. It's not so. It's a simple, clear seeing that, hey, yes, this is what I am really. And all the thoughts and ideas I had about me, they are thoughts and ideas about me. They are stories. They are not real. Yeah? 